The word data means many different things to people. Some perceive it as a test or a quiz, while others look at it as something that's collected either before or after learning has occurred. In this module, we are going to be thinking of data as something that is continual, a tool that you are going to be able to use to help guide students through their learning. Think of this type of data as ongoing, information used to push students forward towards their learning goals. There are many different digital tools that WCPS has already purchased for you to use to collect and monitor student learning. In this module, we are going to explore how school city data is used to help to change instruction. In order to collect data from School City, you must first have the students take the assessment that you have assigned to them. School City offers a nice feature of teachers being able to assign students as many assessments as you would like to have them take. Once the students have taken the assessments, both the teacher and the student can see instantaneous results. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Once you log into School City, it will bring you to a launch pad. From here, you will need to assign students a test. For quick demonstration purposes today, we are going to look at a math fact assessment. All assessments and formattings look the same, so no matter what test you administer, the results will look just as it does today on the screen. If you would like to work along with us as we continue throughout the modules, please pause this video. Before you do, please open a new window in your browser and log into School City. Once you have logged into School City, we will be starting with your dashboard, so please make sure that is where your starting point is. Once you are finished and ready to move on, please select Play to continue. From the launch pad, please select Assessments. From here, you will need to find the assessment that you would like to give the students. I'm going to find Math Fact Level 1A to assign to a student. I'm going to assign this to a student by selecting the Online Administration button. From there, your class list will appear and you can select the students that you would like to administer. To protect the privacy of students and teachers, I'm not going to select a teacher or a school today, but your students will all appear here. Once your class list has appeared, you can select the students that you would like to administer the test by selecting the little box to the left of their name. At the top, you will see the word activate. Click that. This has now activated any students that you wish to take the test. On a side note, if you would like a deeper understanding of how to do this, please see the WCPS online modules for School City. From here, your students are ready to take their test. Take a minute to pause this module to locate an assessment that you would like to administer to students. Find the assessment and select the students who will be taking it. Once all students are selected, select Activate. Once you are ready, return to this video and click Play to continue with the module. Once students have logged in and taken their test, they are able to see how well they performed instantly by clicking on the Review Scores button. Once they find the test that they would like to see the results of, they are able to see the questions that they answered correct, as well as the questions they answered incorrect. To take it a step further, if standards were attached to the assessment, you can add resources for students to access so that then when they are finished reviewing their assessment and going over missed questions, there are resources available for students to look at to help support student understanding. From a teacher's perspective, if you select the Reports tab, this will provide you with a detailed report of all students in your class and how well they have performed on the assessment assigned. Once students have taken an assessment, you will have nine different ways of analyzing data. Please see the WCPS online modules for a more detailed description of what each data report offers. By using this data, you are able to make immediate instructional decisions that differentiate instruction on the spot. So let's take a look. By selecting the Test Results tab under the Data Reports, I am able to narrow down the type of assessment that I want to look at and the data. As you can see, I get a detailed response here. The test results appear and I have a lot of information. I have the raw score, the percentage correct, and where they are falling if they're below, approaching, or if they have met the standard. 
Below, I get a much more detailed information about that student. To protect the student's identity, I'm not going to show you the name, but as you can see, I get the level tested, raw score, percentage correct, the performance level, but I also get the time spent that they took the test. I get to know if they are an EL student, a special ed student, as well as their ethnicity. If I come up to the student response, it tells me exactly the specific student as well as all of this detailed information you have here. If I select standard analysis, I can see how well the student performed on each standard that was administered during the test. If I select the feedback card, I am able to print this out and give it to a student or a teacher or a parent so that they have an understanding of how well that student performed. This assessment piece breaks it down into each question so I know exactly what questions my students got correct as well as got incorrect and how much time they spent on each question. The demographics profile shows me um, the demographics of that particular student and the summary shows me all of these inf pieces of information pulled into one. Teachers and students gain valuable knowledge about learning when they are able to use data to make decisions. School City provides both a bird's eye view as well as detailed and specific information about how well a student has performed, making data analysis easy and ready to use immediately.